Hi everyone, welcome to Lead Code Weekly Contest 391. I'm a bit rusty, but hopefully not too rusty. Um, I am on holidays, which is why I have time to do this contest. Um, min muzzle maximum. Uh, I think this might be Chevy Chev. Twelve zero. Okay, that looks promising. All right, I think that's correct. No two adjacent elements have the same. Okay. It's kind of just like a street poem. Oh, uh, that's nice. If if I uh, if I and why is it the street is a bit fun? We don't return it mod anything. Hmm. Um, I just while true if the number of bottles is greater than or equal to none exchange then I guess res gets increased by the number Bottles. Oh, I guess numbers change. Exchange minus one. Fifteen. 
screen 13. Hopefully that's correct. If x is the sum lap. AC, 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 AC. Nice. Um, I don't know what the rankings are, so we'll go through the solutions. Okay, first, first let's talk about um, problem one. Okay, we can get the digits by converting it to a string, and then I map each of those digits to cast it back to an int and calculate the sum. That's how I, I can easily calculate the sum of digits, but you can do it you know, with a while loop or like any, any other way. And it's this one's very simple. I won't spend time on it. If, if the number is divisible by some digits, return some digits, otherwise return negative one. Nothing much here. This problem is just kind of simulation. It's just, if I have more bottles than um, how much I need to exchange it, then what I would do is I would drink this number of bottles and then exchange it. And then the number of Bottles I need to exchange increases by one. So that's all I do here. Res is the total number of bottles which I drink. I drink the number which I need to exchange. And then the number of bottles which I have decreases by the, the amount I exchanged. But then I get one back because I, I've converted it. That's why I do the minus one here. And then I plus uh, one from num exchange. So next time I have to exchange for once more. Otherwise, if I don't have enough bottles to make an exchange, I just drink the remaining number of bottles and break, and then I just return the total amount which I drunk. This problem is, um, basically, it's just for, for every index, I want to know the longest streak, which, which is alternating one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. And then just like, if, if I, um, loop through from left to right, I want to maintain how long the streak is. So here the streak is one, for example, the streak would be two for the zero one but then here the, the streak cannot be more than one because this this sub the one one violates the alternating part already so the streak gets reset back to one so that's literally all i do if the current element is different to its previous one i can extend the alternating streak by one the longest streak ending at this index is one more than the streak ending at the previous index otherwise the streak gets reset to one and then if i add up these streaks over all indices that's the answer because at each index, I guess the streak is the number of alternating subarrays that ends that ends at that position. So here, if the streak is three, then there's three subarrays ending at this position, um, which are alternating. So that's how it, that's how this works. Pretty simple order n. I think it's a bit easy for question three. Okay, let's talk about question four. So this is like just like a very famous result, but. I'll, ex I'll explain it. Basically, that, um, um, yeah, if, if we have two points like x1, x2, uh, I guess x1, y1, and x2, y2, their Manhattan distance looks something like this. And you can, it's, it's not that hard to, Yeah, okay. It's not, um, I, I guess we kind of need to uh, rearrange this a bit, but essentially the idea is, if you have like, imagine like a Cartesian grid where you have a bunch of 2D points on it. Now imagine rotating that grid by 45 degrees. So like the axes now look like an X. It turns out that the Manhattan distance between two points is now the maximum of like the new horizontal and new vertical distance. Um, yeah, so it, it turns out we can kind of 
rotate each point by replacing a point x, y with, I guess, we, we map x, y to become like this, and that kind of rotates the grid by 45 degrees, but scaled up by a factor of root 2. And it turns out that um, for any two points in this new rotated grid, um, the maximum difference of their, of their new x or y coordinates, that is equal to their original Manhattan distance. Um, I, I, I guess I'll, I'll spoil, well, I guess you can think about the details why. It's like, for example, if x1 is both greater than x2 and y1 is greater than y2, um, then their Manhattan distance becomes, uh, let's say, x1 plus y1 take x2 plus y2. And then this would now be the difference in their new rotated x coordinates. Um, and there's basically four similar cases like this. So if this is less than and less than, then it's this. And then like if x1 is greater than x2 and y1 is less than, like we, we can make this less than or equal to as well. y2, it's just like a couple of cases like this. Um, x2 minus y2. And finally, uh, if it's this case, it looks like this. So basically, in all four cases, you can see that the Manhattan distance is either is equal to the difference between, I guess, the either this new rotated x coordinate or rotated y coordinates. And so, if we just keep a multi set, like A contains x plus y, which is like this rotated x coordinate. B contains x take y. Then for each point, I can just simulate deleting those values from the multiset. I can get the maximum Manhattan distance between uh, all points by finding, I guess, the range of values in in A and the range of values in B. And if I take the maximum, this 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 expression will now be the maximum Manhattan distance between all points. And then I just insert them back again so I can uh, attempt to delete the next index and C. So yeah. If you've seen this idea before, the problem's kind of trivial, but if you haven't seen it before, it's quite difficult. Okay. Now, 536 is pretty fast. Um, the leaderboard doesn't update, so I, I'm not going to check the China site. Okay, the fastest time on the China site was, was 9.04. 5.36 seems pretty fast to me, so I think I have a good chance of winning this. Anyway, my rating has dipped quite a lot, so I really needed this win. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.